Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. This game has been a hassle just to get recorded. Um, we're using OBS, and this is the uh, display capture option in OBS. Normally you would use game capture, which just selects a single game and grabs the, like, stuff going out to, like, this 3D renderer or whatever, um, through the graphics card. Um, a fallback would normally be window capture, which is where you select you know, which window you want to record, and it grabs everything that's inside that window. Um, you can use that for things like Live Split. Um, I use that for a couple of games as well. That works fine. This one, neither of those work. So we're using Display Capture, which just records anything that's on the screen. Um, <laughs> and that seems to work. So I guess we're doing it this way. Um, I've closed, like, most of my other apps and stuff to try to avoid, like, notifications popping up. I think it should be all right. You may see perhaps a taskbar or something. <laughs> so yeah, keep that in mind. Um, also, you'll notice the resolution's a bit lower than normal. I uh, dialed it down a bit. That's because we were getting some pretty bad frame rate drops uh, trying to record at 1080p for some reason. Um, I'm guessing the game isn't super well optimized, but it seems to get a constant 60 FPS if I record it like this. So here we go. <laughs> Um, I don't think my face being in this corner will be a problem, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, uh, this is sort of a, a city builder kind of game, I think. Um, you know, like putting out roads and trying to make your town as efficient as possible, that kind of thing. Uh, except I guess it's very communist, because it's about the Soviet Republic. I don't know if it's like a pro-communism sort of game, or if it's like, this is why communism doesn't work. I'm hoping the former. Uh, I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're gonna just dive in and take a look. Uh, this game was recommended to me by Minerva. Uh, they are very cool, so thank you. Uh, let's have a quick look. Tutorials. You can see there's a lot to it here. Um, we'll jump in basic tutorial, I suppose, and see how we go. Uh, let's see. Ply your snowy roads. Vehicles on snowy roads move slower. Alright. Uh, we don't need the settings menu. There we go. Okay, I don't know if there'll be stuff on this side. Uh, I'll have to keep an eye on the left side of the screen and make sure nothing covers it up. Uh, first up, tutorial. Build a residential building at the marked position. Okay. Construction. Uh, select type of building. Oh, I see. Residential buildings. Uh, okay, that is a little bit coming onto this. Uh, I'll just make sure I don't cover anything important. Uh, flats prefab. Price if funded from rubles. Oh yeah, rubles, right, that's what they would have used at the time. Interesting. You can see it's actually 1960 according to the little clock up there. Uh, so yeah, let's go with this one. Building orientation, how do I rotate the building? Okay, I just scroll the mouse wheel. Beep. Good work, comrade. <laughs> uh, draw the infrastructure as it is marked in the scene. Okay, yeah, I'll have a road. There seem to be a lot of clicks involved in selecting, like, what you want to do. I just drag it out? Yeah. Oop. Perfect work, comrade. <laughs> Draw the infrastructure as it is marked in the scene again, so they need a road here as well. Good job. Build a bus platform at the marked position. Oh, buses, nice. Okay, so uh, that that's kind of under my camera, but yeah, bus platform small. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, yeah, we want to rotate that to face this way. Good job. Check if bus platform is reachable from the residential building for citizens. Click on the bus platform. And... Oh, I see. Perfect work, comrade. Yeah, 161 meters. Make a shorter route to the bus platform from the residential building. Oh, I see. I'm just gonna make it like a walking path? Yeah, a little footpath. Oh, I like that. Along here. There we go. Perfect work, comrade. Build a food factory. That sounds like a good thing to have. Food and crops. Food factory. I'm gonna have to go over here. The right way around, or does it go the other way? Boop. Oh, 
bus platform near food factory, alright? Uh, those Steam messages are asking why this game wasn't recording in OBS, basically. Uh, I managed to get it working, thankfully. Um, but not in, the, not in a very ideal way, I, I would say. Uh, let me see. I'll stop. Okay, so we're going to need a road connecting those two together, right? Build a path so that workers can get from the bus station to the food factory. Okay. Foot path. I'll go drag. You can't just click. Can I zoom in? Yeah, I can zoom in. Let's get a little closer. Can I use Wasid to move around? I can. Okay, the controls make make a decent amount of sense. Good work, comrade. Uh, we're gonna need a road, yeah, to join those two together so the buses can actually go from one station to the other. Oop. Good work, comrade. <laughs> Build a road vehicles depot. Okay, so this is where the buses are going to come from. Roads. Uh, that's under my camera, but that says road vehicles depot. <laughs> Maybe I should move my camera to this corner. Uh, I don't know if this information is going to be relevant, though. It looks like the whole screen is used. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, good work, comrade. Buy a bus that can transport workers. Okay, so I click on this. Buy a new vehicle or mechanism. Okay, so I get to pick what kind of bus I want. I'll go with this one for now. Good job. Set up a schedule for the bus. So I click on the bus. Uh, new stop. Go here. Good work, comrade. <laughs> Probably needs to go over here as well. Add the bus platforms to the schedule. Oop. Excellent. Lennon would be proud. <laughs> Oh, you're- oh, great. I'm so- so glad Lennon is proud of me. Doing great, comrade. Wait for workers to start working in the factory. Optional. Speed up time. Okay, so I have a fast forward button here. And yeah, that makes the bus go faster. So yeah, so far it's very similar to something like, um, I guess SimCity and games like that. City Skylines. Uh, except that it's like overtly communist about it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the bus is taking over there, yep. Which means there should be workers arriving in the factory now. Good job. You try to purchase input resources in the food factory. Resources using rubles. Oh, I can use dollars as well. Okay, so I guess I, I get both currencies. Interesting. Uh, how much do we want? That much, I guess. <laughs> You're doing great, comrade. Okay, yeah, we're bringing in crops now. I can see it's going up here. And that's being converted into food slowly. Build a road to the food factory. Oh, so that the food can be transported better? Yeah, that makes sense. There's already a path so workers can get through, but I'm guessing there's like food trucks. There we go. Perfect work, comrade. Build a grocery store. Okay. Grocery still. There we go. Good work, comrade. Buy a covered hull vehicle. Uh, okay. Go over here. Buy a new vehicle. What's a covered hull? Is it just like a truck? <laughs> Lennon would be proud. Again. Make sure the covered hull vehicle goes to the food factory. Alright. So I need to give it a route. Stick there. Perfect work, comrade. And I want to take it to the grocery store, right? Yeah. Boop. Doing great, comrade. Can I start it? Yes. I see how I'm doing things here. <laughs> this makes sense. An empty residential building. Okay, so what's the, what was this thing again? Okay, that is already a residential building. We're just building another one. Is that not right? Oh, I have to untick that to make it empty, I see. There we go. Invite at least 100 immigrants into this building. Hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you said at least a hundred. I've only invited seventy. 
Build an empty residential building, okay. I want to put, um, move residents from one building to a new building. Right over there. How many? All of them? Is that enough? Okay. <laughs> That's all for this tutorial. Okay, I'm liking it so far. Um... It, it definitely reminds me of, you know, games like City Skylines, but it's interesting that you're trying to, like, uh, invite people to be housed and stuff like that, rather than just, this is a residential zone, you actually put down the housing itself and you say, you know, I want people to live here, that kind of thing. Uh, interesting. Okay, well that's that for this tutorial, so I'm gonna go quit to menu, and then I'm gonna pick the second one, and we're gonna find out what happens next. Tutorials, getting resources. Alright. If you don't meet your citizens' needs, they will escape. That's one way of putting it. I think just moving out might be another way of putting it. They're not prisoners. Build a gravel mine. Gravel mines have to be built on rocky hills. More rocks surrounding the mine means better efficiency. Okay. Uh, construction. Gravel extraction manipulation. A gravel quarry. There we go. I want to put it over here. What do I want it to face? I don't really see the whole building because it's being covered by the no little notifications. There we go. Okay, I see. Perfect work, comrade. Buy an excavator for the gravel mine. Gravel mines require an excavator or workers to function properly. Or workers? They don't need both? Buy a vehicle, excavator. Build a gravel processing plant. Okay. Perfect work, comrade. Buy a vehicle that is able to transport stone. Different vehicles can transport different cargo. You always have to pick the right one for the job. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I see. I can go dumper. And it'll show me these. These are the ones that can carry gravel. Oh yeah, I can, you can see what cargo they can carry uh, at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that very well because of the resolution, but yeah, it, it's listing 12 tons of gravel, 12 tons of coal ore, 12 tons of bauxite, and asphalt, stuff like that. There we go. Yeah, I am. I'm doing great, comrade. Add the first stop. Use your new dumper vehicle to transport stone from the mine to processing plant. Okay. We want... Get this, this window out of the way. Uh, from here. Here. And go. Build a woodcutting post. Woodcutting posts have to be built near a forest. The more trees surrounding a woodcutting post surround a woodcutting post, the more trees workers can cut down. Yeah, that makes sense. Various industry. Uh, woodcutting post. It goes here. Perfect work, comrade. Oh, and it highlights the trees that it will be affected. Buy a vehicle for the woodcutting post. Woodcutting posts require a vehicle that can transport wood from the forest. Buy a new vehicle. Okay, yep, open hull. Work. Uh -huh. Build a sawmill. Sawmills are used to turn wood into boards that can be later used for construction. Yep, that makes sense. Create a factory connection between the woodcutting post and sawmill. Factory connections can be used between certain buildings to easily transport resources. Factory connections cannot exceed a certain length. So is a factory connection like a certain kind of road, or...? Yeah, it looks like it's a special road that the factory can use. Build an iron mine. Iron mines have to be built over iron ore deposits. You can view available iron ore deposits on your mini-map, or as yellow, yellow or green dots when placing the mine. The amount of iron deposits beneath your iron mine determines the efficiency of your mine. Okay, so same basic deal, but with iron, basically. So we pop one of these down. 
Lennon would be proud. What if it randomly selects, like, which of these messages it does? Iron processing unit. Iron must be processed into usable iron aggregate. Interesting that they called it aggregate. Like, most of these games say iron ingots, but I guess aggregate is another way to describe, you know, processing iron. <laughs> Good job. Build a conveyor engine. Conveyors can be used to transport certain resources between some buildings. Conveyor engines can be used to transport these resources over larger distances or to adjust angles of output and input buildings. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of the Factorio in here. Uh, being able to hook these up with conveyors, that's fun. Uh, I'm kind of confused. What does it want me to do exactly? Oh, hang on. No, it wants it to go here. Good job. Connect iron mine and processing plant with a conveyor. Okay, so you place one of these engines, and then you can build a connection uh, from here to there. No. When let me do that? I'm confused. I need to go over here, maybe? No. Like, it's showing up in red, like, it's not gonna do it, and then it doesn't do it. We've got a conveyor over here, and then we've got conveyors coming out of here. That one work? No. What am I doing wrong? Build conveyor connection. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I'm following the tutorial. Uh, and, like, it looks, looks right based on the pictures and stuff I'm seeing. It says create infrastructure at the highlighted location. Oh, do we need another one of these things? I think so. Hmm. Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe the tutorial just glitched or something? As far as I can tell, that should work. Okay, I can rotate a little bit like this. Yeah. Uh, let me see, those are outputs, but I don't want to worry to there. A highlighted location. Not highlighting a location though. What's, what's happening? Does it mean over here? Hmm. This is the iron mine. That's footpaths. Conveyor. Okay, connection. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, that wasn't a real conveyor. That was a fake conveyor. Okay, I understand now. Then I can do that, and then it'll work. Okay, okay. It's just, I didn't know what that was supposed to look like yet. Cargo aggregate loading station for road vehicles. This place can be used to load processed iron into road vehicles. Eventually you can load aggregates directly from the storages, but because there is no mechanism to load it, it will be much slower. Okay. And yeah, we want to connect that to that. Okay, so that, that orange looking conveyor is not a real conveyor. Okay. <sighs> that confused me for several minutes there. Buy a vehicle that can transport iron. Um, but I want to buy it. Over here at my vehicle depot? Yes. Uh, dumper. Any of these can do it. Uh, but yeah, that one will do. 
Inexpensive. Good job. Now we select a new car. We're gonna set it up. Go to the load iron here. I don't know where we want to take it yet though. Oh, over there? Sell this cargo via the customs. Oh, that's customs? Okay. And go. Lennon would be proud. Oh, what are we building now? A farm. Farms can contain all the vehicles that are required to work on the fields. Okay. Agro farm. Uh, that goes this way. You're doing great, comrade. Build a field. Fields are used to grow crops. Fields have to be connected to a farm. The farm will automatically send mechanisms to seed, harvest, or transport the crops back to the farm. Okay, so I build a field over here. Do I need to put like a path between them or will they take the road automatically? Lennon would be proud. <laughs> Buy a tractor for the farm. Tractors are used to sow the crops. Okay. Tractor. Buy a combine for the farm. Like a like a harvester? Yeah, combine harvester. I've heard that term before. <laughs> Buy a covered hull vehicle for the farm. Covered hull vehicles that takes the food out once it's ready, right? Yeah, crops from the field. Okay. Buy a pump jack. Pump jacks have to be built over oil deposits. Okay, so we're moving on to oil now. This one. Uh, this thing goes here-ish. Okay. Need to connect that up with a road, I assume, because it doesn't already have one. Build a rail pumping station. This station can be used to fill trains that have a cistern wagon with oil. Interesting. Okay, there's a lot of different resources here. Complicated. Build a pipeline connecting the rig and the pumping station. So a pipeline will be here on infrastructure. There we go. Doing great, comrade. I sure am. Build a rail depot. Rail depots are the starting building for trains. You can use them to buy trains and set up train sets. Okay, so yeah, we want a depot over here. Depot, depot, that thing. Yeah, Lennon would be proud. Connect the train, so just a train track. Concrete based or wood based. Yeah, concrete is clearly better. And electrified, you can use electric trains, but that would probably cost more. Oh, like the order you drag it in matters, I think. There we go. Lennon would be proud. Connect the pumping station with the rest of the rails. Oh, there's rails over there? Oh yeah, they're going back to the, the um, customs house. Cool. There's a lot of different options and things here. Good work, comrade. Buy a diesel locomotive. Yeah, I'll do that. Let's go, it's train time. Heck yeah. Electric diesel, motor wagon, track builder, train set, tram, cargo wagon, passenger vehicle. Passenger wagon. Okay, so we can make three tanks like this. The little, little cisterns. Set the first waypoint for the train. Okay, so I've got to select it. The UI is a little bit fiddly, but I'm having a, a lot of fun with this concept. Uh, and then, yeah, we want it to go over there. Is the train coming? Oh, there it is! Look, there it goes! Oh, yes. That's all for this tutorial. Let's watch the train. Okay, so it's gonna pull into this thing, uh, which will give it some oil. Yeah, the oil's being poured into it, you can see. Now empty. Are you gonna wait till it can get completely full? Or? 17 tons out of 180. It's got a lot more room. I assume this thing is gradually pulling out more oil. Yeah, the train seems to be waiting until it can fill itself all the way up. So it may be a while. <laughs> oh, look, the little truck is here. Hello, little truck. I guess that's transporting iron. Oh, and look, it's on the conveyors as well. Oh, great. You can see it in all the different places. This is so cool. Oh, look, workers. Look. Little tiny workers. There they go. 
Oh wow. This is just, uh, this is cute. Um Okay, um let's go on to tutorial three, I suppose. Uh now that we know how to get all the cool resources. Tutorial constructions. Hold left shift to batch upgrade roads, rails, or sidewalks. Okay. Build an asphalt plant. It's interesting that the settings menu stays open. Um. Oh, I can change, put seasons, seasons and things on. Interesting. Uh, I'll leave them off for now, but I'll keep that in mind. It's nice to have lots of the, all those different options. Kind of wish there was an option to change, like, what side of the road people drive on and stuff, but I know it's, like, set in the Soviet Republic, so it sort of makes sense. Uh, it's not like just a general, you're building a city asphalt plant, so that creates asphalt. Yeah, it consumes gravel and bitumen to make asphalt. Build a concrete plant. Concrete consumes gravel and cement. Yep, that's what concrete's made from. Three facts. The music is interesting. Um, I don't know if I call it good, but interesting take. An aggregate loading station for road vehicles. Where around does this thing go? This way? Excellent, Lennon would be proud. Thanks, Lennon. Build a conveyor engine. Okay, yeah, I know about these. Conveyor engine. I'm going to go over here. Oh, and then I want to connect the buildings with conveyors, yeah. Uh, conveyor. So the engine doesn't need to be where the conveyors are, apparently. Like, the conveyor's over here, and the engine's over here. Does it just have, like, a range? Build a residential building at for concrete plant and asphalt plant workers. Let's have a look. Can I see the stuff moving? Or they, they probably haven't made it yet because there's no workers. Uh, flats prefab. All your flats, 91%. Oh, I see. They have different different qualities here. So if I wanted like, are any of these bad? Like these are all pretty decent quality percentages. Can I make bad ones? I don't think I can. That's neat. There we go. Build a bus stop. Yeah, that's the stuff I'm talking about. Public infrastructure. Bus stop. Uh, I want the bus stop to be over here. Oh, whoops. Accidentally cancelled the bus stop menu. Here we go. Uh, this way. Here we go. Good job. Purchase gravel for the large aggregate storage. Naturally, you can use your own resources, but for this tutorial, let's purchase it. Okay. Uh, do I click on here? Oh, I see. So this is this is the aggregate aggregate storage. I can just go here and buy resources. Okay, I see. How much gravel do I need? Approve. Okay. Purchase steel for the warehouse. Uh, yeah, I can use my own resources, but I'm just going to buy some steel. Alright. Using rubles. Here we go. Perfect work, comrade. <laughs> Purchase mechanical components for the covered warehouse. I don't know if we can actually make those ourselves, but I guess we're buying them. Huh, I guess you keep going after it starts telling me to stop. See? Interesting. You're doing great, comrade. Purchase bitumen for the asphalt plant. Okay, so all of these places that need a resource can buy it directly. They don't need to get it from somewhere else. Um, like, you don't need to buy things at the storage and then take them somewhere. You can buy them directly at the plant that uses them. Purchase cement for the concrete plant. Alright. Oh, 
Perfect work, comrade. Okay. Build a construction office. Construction office is the main building for constructing buildings using resources. Here you can assign a construction or multiple constructions which you would like to build and also the source buildings for resources needed for the constructions. Okay, so as well as building stuff with money, it looks like I can uh, like build stuff essentially for free using the resources I already have. We're not actually free because I've got to pay the workers, but you get the idea. Uh, assign the required building to construction office. I'm not sure what I'm trying to build. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's the bus depot. Am I trying to build the bus depot? Assign the required building to construction office. Again? Uh... Oh, I see. We're getting. Oh, I see what's happening. These are the sources. We're getting workers from the bus stop. We're getting gravel from the aggregate thing. We're going to get asphalt from here. So we're doing logistics right now, where we're we're deciding where things, are, where we're getting our resources and how we're going to get them transported and stuff like that. Okay, and that's the steel. That's a bunch of things actually. And mechanical components. And now we have everything we need. Plan a road. In this mode, you can freely plan and delete the road or other infrastructures. Untick auto build. Okay, so instead of auto building, you just say, I would like a road to be here, and then you can do it with your resources instead. Oh, interesting. Look, it's got work days and then resources as well, because having work is also a resource. Great work, comrade. Start the construction of the road. After everything looks as you want, you can start construction. Uh, okay, so yeah, the, the construction, I could auto build using my, my money, or I can just use the resources I actually have to do it. This is an interesting concept, I like it. Purchase required vehicles for construction office. For road construction, you need a dumper truck, excavator or bulldozer, roller and paver. With this setup, you can build roads even without manpower. Ow. Are these robots? Like, robot vehicles? That would be super cool. One of those. Uh, yeah, a dumper. You need a bulldozer? Yes. And a paver. I think those are the four I needed, right? Oh no, there's a roller as well. I need five. Okay. Build a mud road. Mud roads do not require a construction office to be built. However, vehicle speed is limited on these roads, so you shouldn't use them when you need your vehicles to move at their full speed. Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah, we've got mud road, gravel road, asphalt road. And yeah, they have different speeds. Good work, comrade. Build a residential building using resources. Okay, so if I go in here, residential buildings, right over here, click. It's not set to auto build, so it becomes a little ghost. Purchase required vehicles for construction office. For buildings, you need the open hole truck to deliver resources like panels, and also buses to deliver the workers to the construction site. Cranes can speed up constructions. However, they do not replace the need for manpower, only provide a speed bonus. Okay. Oh jeez, I just noticed the frame rate is real bad. Um... Sorry. <laughs> I really hope this comes out looking okay. I'm having a lot of fun, so... That's a good start. Um, the visuals are probably not looking... Quite as good for you as they are for me, because of those, re those frame rate issues. Getting the impression this game isn't super well optimized. Need an excavator. The open hull to take resources. Road crane. I need to get a bus? Nope, that's all for this tutorial. 
Well, let's have a look at what the what work everyone's doing. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. They're making the road. Look. I'm not super sure why you would build things manually when you can build them instantly by spending money. Um, it's kind of a strange blend of mechanics. Um, I assume, like, building things with money is just to get you set up and then from there you can do things using your resources, but it's still a little odd, uh, considering how much longer it takes to make this using actual, like, trucks and stuff instead of just, uh, magic. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, the frame rate is pretty bad. Um, really hoping that's coming through looking decent for you. Uh, it may not be. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna jump on to the next tutorial. Uh, yep. Tutorials, uh, electricity and fuel is the next one. Personal cars? Oh no. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep playing tutorials for like an hour and then talk about the game. Um, I just want to get an idea of what the mechanics are. Control G hides the interface for better screenshots. Little smiley face. That's cute. Build a substation. Substations are used to deliver electricity directly to nearby buildings. Yeah, the frame rate is really quite bad while, it's, while this game is running. Medium voltage wires, electric substation. On the menus and stuff, it's just completely fine, but... Okay, I see. It tells you which building, nearby buildings are getting electricity by showing these little wired thingies. Cool. Good job. Connect substation to foreign power connection. Let's click on it. Where's the foreign power? Oh, it's over there. Oh, over there? No. Okay, this one. There's building in the way. There we go. Good job. Okay, so it's powered now. Import electricity from foreign power connection. Sometimes you will need to import electricity in order to start your power plant. Or maybe you simply don't want to build your own power plant. Full stop. <laughs> uh, okay, import. Uh, I don't know how much we need. There we go. Interesting. Build a power plant. Similar to substations, power plants deliver electricity to nearby buildings. However, their main, pur their main purpose is to generate electricity and deliver it across large distances. Okay. Uh, power plant. Okay, so we've got coal, we've got nuclear, we've got a couple of different options here. We have solar panels? Can't see them. Doesn't look like we have solar panels. Kind of a weird omission. Power plant to a road. Maybe didn't they didn't really exist in the 60s, which is when this game was apparently set. I'm not sure. Okay, we want to make a road here so the power plant workers can get into it. There we go. Use a conveyor to connect the power plant with aggregate storage. Power plants need coal to work. However, coal mine and coal processing plants require electricity to work. For this reason, you may need to import electricity to start your power plant. Or you could purchase some coal. I guess there's some coal over there, so let's just plug that into there. A high voltage switch. Uh, this thing. Not sure what it does, but yep, I'll build one. Good work, comrade. Build power transformer. Transformers are used to change high voltage input into low voltage outputs. While some factories will require high voltage inputs, most buildings require low voltage inputs. The advantage of high voltage is that it can transport energy in large amount by a single wire. 
that's pretty much accurate. Um, like, as someone who is aware of, you know, the actual purpose of, of transmitting electricity at a high voltage, that's, that's more or less right. <laughs> Build power lines from power plant to switch. Oh, I see. Drag it all away. The there we go. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Build power lines from switch to power transformer. There we go. <laughs> no power city. I didn't notice that. That's funny. Okay, we want a substation. Over here. And then we want to put a wire. Build a substation near another one. Oh, second city. Here we go. I'm going to want to connect those up with wires, yep. Connect the other substation. There we go. Good job. Build a road gas station. You need it so the road vehicles will be able to refuel. Okay. Good job. Build a trolleybus tra trafo to bring power into the trolleybus network. What's a what's a tra trafo? Tra trafo? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Connect the trolleybus trafo to the power transformer. Build a railroad electric connection. Okay, so that, that makes electrified rails and stuff work. I understand that. And I want to connect the electric, railroad electric connection to the rail network to bring electricity to the railway, ne railway networks. Like so. There we go. Okay. Connect the railroad electric connection to the tra tra that thing to bring electricity to it. I don't know what that is. Like, I understand that it gives electricity. Is it a chauffeur transformer? Build a train diesel station. So that's so trains can refuel. Lenin would be proud. Connect train diesel station to a rail network in order for the train train will be able to go there and refuel. Oh, it wants this one. Doing the wrong thing. <laughs> there we go. Build a substation near the train diesel station. I guess it needs electricity to function. Connect the substation with the power transformer. Connect the switch with the foreign power connection. The angles of your power lines cannot be too sharp. Sometimes you will have to build the power lines in parts. Good job. Set the foreign power connection to export mode. When your power plants generate too much electricity, you can sell it to neighbouring countries. Yeah, that makes sense. Export mode, there we go.
that's all for this tutorial. I'm having fun. This game is fun. I like it. Uh, it's hard to record, but it's a lot of fun to play. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping what you're seeing is, like, vaguely decent. Um, the little preview I'm getting in OBS looks fine, and mostly it's around, like, 48 frames per second, so it should be okay, but... <sighs> It'd be nice if it was a constant 60. Uh, let's hear about personal cars. Car plant city. Build a vehicle production plant. Okay, I'm not a big fan of personal cars. Uh, I suppose they are sometimes helpful. Oh. Clicked in the wrong spot. There we go. Purchase all required resources to assemble vehicles. Storage capacity for all buildings is limited, so if you have to buy all resources, you should buy only a limited amount of each type. Okay. Okay, so in the warehouse we want plastics, mechanical and electro electrical components, electronics, fabric, and we want steel as well, apparently. Buy a vehicle blueprint. Vehicle production plant can only assemble vehicles from owned blueprints. In order to produce vehicles, you must first license them. Oh, okay, so we have to license the blueprints to make certain types of cars. Set the vehicle you want to build. Vehicle production plants can only build one vehicle type at a time. Let's decide which vehicle it's going to be. Well, there's only one in here, so let's make one of those. Good work, comrade. Build an empty residential building. Okay, so we want uh, room for people to, to, who are going to own these cars, I guess? Okay, gotta make it empty. Boop. Boop. Lennon would be proud. Invite some educated immigrants. There are two types of workers, average workers and workers with higher education. Some working positions can only be occupied by workers with higher education. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that mechanic. Oh, I see. I can, I can get, I can just like invite immigrants or I can invite experts. Uh, hmm. Immigrants from the third world, from the Soviet bloc, I don't know how I feel about that. That feels a little questionable. Oh, is that just because it's different money? Yeah, look, see, that's dollars, and that one's rubles, so I guess I guess that's why it needs to be separate. Maybe. Enough. Good job, okay. Build a car shop. In order to sell cars for citizens, you will need a car dealer. I guess we're gonna build a dealership over here in Shopping City. <laughs> okay, here's a car dealer. Good job. Buy an open hull truck. Open hull trucks can be used to transport some vehicles from the vehicle factory to a building where they can be used, such as car dealer, construction office, parking lots, etc. Okay. Oh, it says can load vehicles on flatbed up to 12 tons. Okay, that makes sense. Set up the truck to load cars from the car factory. Okay. I need to give it a little route. It goes to the car factory. And then it's gonna need to go over here to sell them. There we go. Build medium parking lots near the factory so workers can park their cars there and go to the work. Uh, yeah, it's a medium parking lot. My face is covering it a little bit. 
It was kind of small. Is that enough? Oh, we're gonna add another one. Excellent. Parking is the worst, so I'm real glad we're adding lots of lots of car parks here so people can get to work. Build medium parking lots near the residential buildings also, so workers will be able to acquire cars. They will then drive from their home to various places where they can do something and where they can park their cars. You're doing great, comrade. Build medium parking lots. Okay, what's another one? Over here. That's all for this tutorial. Okay. I'm glad the game, like, heavily encourages you to build parking lots because parking is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, kind of wish it just didn't have personal cars because public transport is good enough, but um, I guess it does have personal cars as an option. Railroad and semaphores. We're getting close to an hour, so this is probably about the last one we're going to be doing. Hopefully this frame rate is good enough in the output video. I'll find out once I'm finished. Create a rail crossover in front of the station. How do I do that? I can see the orange orange piece there. How do I like that particular piece? It's highlighting all these different things. Oh, but, but, there we go. Okay, that oh, I'm wanting to go the other way. All right, there we go. Good job. Place double-sided semaphores around the station. So semaphores are little are the little lights. Okay. I think yes. So we just click in the right spots, and they'll automatically be generated. There we go. And that should make the crossover part safe. It's one-sided semaphores in front of the depot. So you click it, and click it again to make it one-sided. Yeah? Like that. Place a semaphore loading train out of the station. There we go. And then another one here. Oh, train semaphore? The chain semaphore. Create a rail crossover in front of the station. Okay, so this station we want another crossover. Double-sided semaphores in front of the station. Oh, you can see the arrows. Yeah, that's how you know. Cool. Place a semaphore loading trains out of the station. Uh, that way, and then one going in, I assume. Oh, a chain semaphore. Build railroads for the third station. Okay, yeah, I see. Loopy de doop here, which is kind of fun. Connect the third station to the rest of the railroad, alright? Some more semaphores for this to be safe, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
Place one-sided semaphores letting trains into the station. Over here. And these ones out, I assume. There we go. Place a semaphore letting trains out of the station here. Chain semaphore letting trains into. I'm not sure what a chain semaphore does. It'd be nice to have a bit of an explanation. Semaphores for a T section of the railroad. Use semaphores for trains that are leaving the T section and chain semaphores for trains entering the T section. Uh, I think this is leaving. This one is entering, so we need a chain. I think chain means it makes the semaphore on the other side also do the right thing, like automatically or something. But I'm not super sure. Pre-signal, normal, or pre-signal. Like that? And some over here as well. Oh, here come the trains. Build a rail construction office. Okay, I don't know what that does yet, but we'll find out. Looks pretty elaborate. I guess yeah, they can build multiple trains and stuff in there. Build a railroad using resources. Okay, so we untick this. We start building a railroad. Okay. Such as necessary materials for building a railroad. All right. Like just a train for building railroads. Oh, there's a train for doing that? Oh, the track builder. Nice. Yeah, I kind of want to see it do that. Uh, I don't know if we'll, we'll see it appear or... We'll just wait a little bit. Uh, while we're waiting, we'll have a look over here and see what these trains are up to. Yep, there's trains going all over the place now. Trains there. There's a train going through there. This, there's nothing at these stations, so it doesn't really matter that the trains are going to them, but it's still cool. Little semaphores are doing their job, so the trains won't collide with each other. Oh, look at this, it's beautiful. Okay, and the track layer's just maybe gotten started? Oh, there it is! Uh, let me spin around. Oh, look at it go! Yep, it's laying track, alright. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm liking this game. It's kind of complicated, but that's super cool. Okay, we're on about an hour now. I've only really looked at some of the tutorials, but I'm getting a good sense of what this game is about, and it's really fun. Um... I still don't really know if it's pro-communism or not, um... Because you're playing as the Soviet Republic and, you know, like, you're building a lot of public resources, like bus stops and stuff, which sounds pretty communist, but... Um, it's not really clear... Whether the, whether the whole thing is meant to promote communism or not. It's, it's confusing. Um, it's very pretty, um... Like... I've talked about the frame rate dropping in the recording and stuff. That's because it looks quite nice. 
Uh, the controls are a little tricky to get used to, but uh, the tutorials seem to be very helpful, so it shouldn't be too tricky to figure out uh, with a little bit of practice. And then you can drift all over the place and have a good look at all the little vehicles doing things. I like all the details a lot. All the people going to work over here. Uh, you can see the little trains doing their train things. Uh... I've got a sense of parts of the game at this point. Uh, obviously there are more buttons here that I haven't really done anything with. Soviet block, western countries. Import of resources. Western countries. So I guess we want to... We're, com we're competing with the, with western westerners and becoming better, basically. Something like that, anyway. Oh no. Okay, so we get some information about different types of tourists. Are these tourists like Soviet tourists, or, like tourists going elsewhere, or? I'm not sure. Because both of these say entered the Republic. Like, are these tourists from other parts of, of, Soviet, of the Soviet Republic visiting our area? Or, or like Soviet tourists going outside of Russia and doing other things elsewhere? Not clear. Um. And yeah, there's a global market for all the different resources, which is cool. Uh, do some import and export stuff. List of lines. Ooh, hello. Okay, I'm guessing we can name these if we want. Can we? Yeah, we can. Rename line. So we can we can make it clearer what our, what our different trains are up to. And there'd be ships, airplanes, helicopters. Nice. Okay, uh, what else have we got here? Let me quick look at the interface to try and get an idea of the stuff we haven't seen yet, basically. Oh, this is handy. Look, total amounts of resources and where they are, so you can try to track things down. Keep track of your progress. Population statistics? Oh, look at all that happiness. Uh, what's that? Satiated? Yeah, decent. Health is good. Government loyalty? Uh, that's a bit lower. Alcohol addiction is reasonably low. Culture enjoyment is even lower, though, so we probably need to build some more theatres and stuff. Sport enjoyment? I'll just leave that low, that's probably fine. <laughs> we don't need sport. Um, I'm just looking at nothing while I do this in order to try to keep the frame rate up. Oh, hang on, that's a little bit behind my... Oh, I can actually move this window. It looks like I should be able to, but I can't. Uh, sport enjoyment is low. Religion sympathy is quite high. Clothing quality is alright. Education, none. Basic education. Uh, oh, I see. There's zero people with no education. There's a decent amount with basic, and there's 15 with university. I see. Uh, electronics, people who have a radio, people who have a television, people who have a computer. Car owners, nobody. Nice. Average lifespan, 81.43. That's not bad. Uh, average productivity, 83%. That sounds pretty good. Average age. I don't know why escapes are an option here. Like, it's sort of acting as though this is a prison, but it, it's not. It's just a city. It's, it's a little strange. Um... I think the idea is you can name chunks of your, of your buildings and say, like, this is, yeah, this is where the rail training happens. City slash area. Right, that makes sense. Okay, so you can just label parts of what you've built. Uh, which is cool. I'm not sure what this thing does yet. Oh, like hotkeys? Can I bind stuff to this? Oh, can I like, uh, hang on, where are my trains? Let's try putting trains on one of the hotkeys if it lets me do that. There's a train. Hello, train. Uh, go to depot, direction, follow. You follow this vehicle. Oh, look, we can, we can uh, cling to the vehicle like this. That's fun. I still don't know what these are for, though. Uh, like, it's a hot bar, obviously, but I don't know what, what goes in it. Can I put this in it? Doesn't look like it. Hmm.
<laughs> okay, so we can get a camera that sort of looks at what the train's doing like this, and there's one that's just like first person, you are the train now. That's fun. Okay, so yeah, this is a game. Um, I don't think I like the fact that you have like, um, what was it, the, was it like the immigrants option or something? Where was it? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, we need to go somewhere that can build things, like here, for example. Mm, doesn't look like it. Uh, actually, I think I want to click on a residential. Yeah, like this. Yeah, I don't think I like this bit. Invite 10 million immigrants from the third world, from the Soviet bloc, or experts from the Soviet bloc. I assume that's supposed to be worse, but... I don't like that. <laughs> like, like third world, like, it literally just means not America or Russia. Like, that's where the term comes from. It's like, I think that's right. First world America, second world Russia, third world everyone else. It's, it's something like that, but it's, it's a little bit of a loaded term. Um, so yeah, that one's not, that one's not ideal. Uh, unless the idea is literally just, you know, you're getting, you're getting immigrants, but you're paying dollars instead of rubles. Which is possible. I don't know if they're supposed to be worse, worse workers or something. Uh, all of these people have Russian names, so I don't know who I just actually added. <laughs> uh... It's confusing. Oh well, um, yeah, that's about all I want to say for this one at the moment, I guess. Um, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I hope the frame rate wasn't too bad. I, I know it was dropping, uh, quite low in places. Hopefully it'll play back alright. Um, also sorry about the resolution being lower and all that. I just had to make it work somehow, you know? Uh, but yeah, that's this game. Uh, it looks like fun. Um, I'm gonna play it some more. Um, but, you know, off camera, so I don't have to worry about talking and I can not and stuff. Um, yeah, okay. Thank you for watching. Bye!